What's up guys, it's Christian Guzman with Christian Guzman Fitness and today I'm going to take you guys through my uh, meal prep. I'm actually bulking now so I'm done with my competition, I'm done dieting and getting shredded and stuff so I'm trying to put on some weight, put on some muscle and yeah, just enjoy life a little bit more. So today we're going to be making some chicken and brown rice. Uh, we would be making vegetables but we're actually out of vegetables. So I have enough chicken here, I'll show you guys, I'm going to take you guys through everything I'm doing. So I'm going to cut up all this chicken, I have a lot of brown rice, we're going to make about probably like five or six cups, just kind of the last couple days. I um, actually have a whole bunch of tests and stuff tomorrow, so I'm not planning on sleeping tonight. And then I have tests on Wednesday, so I'm probably not going to sleep much on Tuesday. So I'm getting all my cooking done now, so there's no excuses to stay on the diet. And uh, yeah, hit all the protein needs and the carb needs that I need. So yeah, let's get started guys. First thing, we're going to cut the fat off of this chicken. Um, it is boneless, on, so you guys can see. There we go. Boneless, skinless chicken breast. Now, when cutting fat off, I'm not too careful about it. I don't mind if I have some on there. And sometimes I'll just kind of cut too much off, so I end up cutting a lot of chicken off. So we're going to fast forward through this, and I'll see you guys when it's done. All right, guys, so we just cut, cut up all the chicken breasts. Um, we're going to throw away all this fat over here. There we go. All this stuff is extra stuff we don't need. Mm. So throw that away. And be sure to throw that trash bag out tonight, or the night you uh, throw it away. Okay. Now we're gonna season all this chicken. But before we do that, guys, we are going to um, start up our pans and get our water going. So a tip on water, I'm using this big pot. Um, it has a built-in strainer, which is really cool, actually. We have this, but to get, kind of get it to heat up quicker, I always let hot water run uh, for a couple, for like a minute or so, so it gets real hot, and then I just put it on the stove. So I'm gonna turn all these on. Turn all that stuff on. Uh, let it heat up, and then yeah, I'll season this stuff. All I'm gonna be using today is some garlic and some lemon pepper. So you guys can see. And if you're wondering why I have a towel, it's because we uh, actually ran out of paper towels, so this is kind of like my uh, little rag thing. Right, so laying out all the chicken, just like this. Just like that, guys. Now, I'm gonna get a whole bunch of comments and stuff about how much seasoning I put. I'm gonna drain some of this chicken juice. I enjoy a lot of seasoning, and uh, I'll do a video on sodium, guys, so pretty much, if you keep a, uh, like the same sodium level and you're consistent with your sodium intake you're not going to see much water retention in blood so as long as you're consistent uh, throughout your week with your sodium intake then your body gets used to it and you'll look normal so some seasonings again just garlic and some lemon pepper and I know you guys are about to be really surprised but So if you can see this, um, our water is hot, so we're going to fill this guy with some water right here. Alright, so we have our very hot water coming on our stove. We're in a pan, uh, zero calorie pan, on both of these pans for our chicken. Okay. They've been heating up for a while, so they're ready to chicken on. Here we go. See we only we only season one side so we're gonna put the side that we've seasoned already. So we get a tight squeeze. There you go. Perfect. Wash the hands again. So as you guys can see, sorry I thought the chicken was showing there. As you guys can see, perfectly laid out. So now we're gonna season on um, the other side. Just like this. Okay. 
Now we're going to lower the temperature a little bit because I don't want to burn these because I'm kind of multitasking. I'm going to lose my attention. Okay. Garlic. And yeah, guys, so this should last me about three, four days, hopefully. Depends on what I feel like. I might cook some other kind of protein, some fish or something. But, um, yeah, so this is cooking. Now, a little cool secret, guys. Um, my mom showed me this, a seasoning for your rice. I don't know what this is. I'm Hispanic. My mom's uh, Mexican, so... This is a uh, caldo, I don't know, something in Spanish. You can buy the H-E-B, uh, Walmart, they have them there. All it is is some chicken, like seasoning, almost, but it's like, it's for like water, I guess it's like a broth kind of thing. Anyway, it's only 10 calories per serving, so I don't really um, measure it out or anything. So, uh, that was a lot, but that's okay, because we're making a lot of rice. <laughs> um, if you guys want to know about my macros and all that stuff, comment below, I'll be sure to do a video on that. And... Last but not least, our water is boiling. Let's see if you can see this. So you put the rice in after your water is boiling. It's sort of boiling, so it's good enough. Now, we're gonna do, we're gonna do like six cups. Actually, we're just gonna, let's see. Six cups of rice. Now, uh, it is a waiting game. We're gonna wait for the, the chicken to cook on one side, then we're gonna flip them and then stir up the rice. And I'll show you guys what I put in my rice. And yeah, so do a little bit of cleanup time right now, and I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so it's been a while, um, probably about 10 minutes. I'm about to flip the chicken. A lot of you guys are gonna say, Oh, it's burned, it's burnt, but I just like it kind of crispy. So, um, hopefully, it's a little bit blackened. I'll show you guys what it looks like. This probably isn't going to be too graceful, but here we go. Can you see that? Just like that, perfect. Yeah, so uh, stir up the rice a little bit. I'll be sanitary for you guys and wash my uh, spatula or rinse it, I guess. Stir the rice a little bit. Now, the only way to tell the rice is ready, I just kind of try it, guys. I'm not too big on like, I can't eyeball it really, so I really just try it. And if it's hard, then I put it back, and if it's not, then I take it out. So. It's pretty hard. I'm gonna let it sit another, probably when I get the chicken out, I'll take it out. So, um, that is that. If you guys wanna know, I'm just sipping on some water. No flavor, no nothing, just plain water. Um, taking my creatine. You gotta drink plenty of water with your creatine, guys. Um, I really recommend this brand, Optimum Nutrition's Creatine. Five grams a day, keeps the doctor away. Or not really, but um, it'll help with your strength. <laughs> All right, guys, so our rice is done. Um, what I'm going to do is, again, I have this little top thing. So I'm going to put this on here. And yeah, I just tried it to make sure it was done. And this is how you strain it. It's probably the most rice I've ever cooked in one sitting. The chicken is finishing up. And I realized while I was uh, waiting on the chicken to cook, that I don't have any big Tupperware. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna fit all this stuff in, this, in some small Tupperwares and just keep them throughout the week. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna put in the rice to make it uh, taste better without adding calories. So over here, now I'll get this real quick. Uh, yeah. All right, so here we have our uh, 
zero calorie butter spray and some uh, already squeezed lemon. This stuff's really convenient guys, I sell them at your stores. So over here, just gonna, there's only a little bit left guys, I'm just going to pour the rest in here. Pour that in there. And pour some lemon in here. It's a lot of rice, so I'm going to put a little lot of lemon. I almost used this whole thing just then, so <laughs> I guess it doesn't last too long. Um, next is just some salt. So again, just like seasoning, I kind of like a lot of salt, guys. Keep in mind this is like six cups of rice, so it's not just like it's a cup of rice, so we can mix it all together. And yeah, I have high sodium levels, and my body's used to it. That is a lot of rice. I, I don't think I uh, expected this much rice, but it lasts me a good amount, a good couple days. So we have that. Our chicken is done. I already turned this stuff off. This is how it looks, you guys can see. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm going to cut up this chicken. I have a whole bunch of little Tupperwares over here that I'm going to put all this stuff in. And I'll be eating this probably two, two or three times a day. Um, again, there's no specific number. It could be one time a day, uh, and I'll just eat a whole bunch, or it could be smaller meals spread throughout. Uh, if you guys want some meal timing videos, I'd be happy to do that. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. This will uh, make sure you're always prepared. And go like the Facebook page, go like the Twitter, and Instagram. All right, thank you guys for watching.